Hello and welcome to Motorboats Monthly's Practical Boating section. VRMs, Variable Range Markers, and EBLs, Electronic Bearing Lines, are both used for both position fixing and collision avoidance. We're going to bring up our electronic bearing line and then we're going to adjust it so that we can put it on our target. In this case, this one here. Now the idea is, as we're moving along, we keep an eye on that target and if he slides down the bearing line towards us in the middle, we know that there's a risk of collision. A variable range marker is used for finding the distance from an object, be it another bow or a headland, and used in conjunction with an EBL is great for position fixing. So we bring up our VRM and EBL, we adjust it. Now we need to find out where we are in, in conjunction to this headland which we can identify on the chart. So we bring the electronic bearing line round, and then we take out the variable range marker to give us a distance. And we now can see that we are 0.41 nautical miles, uh, 314, 315 degrees from that headland. We can now use that to plot our position on the chart. MARPA, which stands for Mini Automatic Radar Plotting Aid, is a very useful function that all radars have now. It's used for collision avoidance, and here's how it works. To acquire a MARPA target, we put the cursor on the target in question, press the Acquire Target button. So after the scanner has three or four, given it three or four sweeps, it will lock onto the target, and it will provide information such as the target's course and target speed. It'll also give you a vector and give you a rough idea of where that vessel is going to be in a set, a set amount of time. In this case it's set to three minutes, so we know that in three minutes this vessel is going to be around about here in relation to us. Find out more information about the target by going into the menus. Now we can bring up a list of our MARPA targets. Vessels. We can choose the one we're interested in, in this case MARPA 4, and we can find out more information about it. Now, particularly important is how close we're going to get to this target, in this case one mile, and how soon that's going to happen. And again, it's uh, quite quickly, in one minute we're going to be or 0.9 miles from the target. Now to use MARPA correctly, you really need to understand a few things about it. You need to know where it's getting this information from, what it's trying to tell you, and how it's set up. If you wish to use MARPA, we would suggest some further reading, because used incorrectly, MARPA has been partially responsible for some radar and collisions. It's a subject we have covered in some depth in Motorboats Monthly. We hope this has been useful to you. Thanks for watching.